I am normally a little behind uh, the rest of the world, kind of, because uh, usually my way of doing things is to create like a playlist of videos I want to review. I'll sit down, I'll do a bunch of them, and if if I had enough fun with them, and if I think the points being raised are at least different from previous videos, uh, that's what I put on YouTube and uh, TikTok and stuff. As a result, because I do make playlists like that, I will usually not get around to a video until maybe like a week later, sometimes a lot longer, um, in case of my recent ones. But I saw this one today, someone uh, tweeted it, um, and I retweeted it, if you go check out my Twitter. And it was, it was too good, it was too, it was too tempting not to review straight away. So I'm going to actually jump ahead of some of the videos I've actually got in the pipeline and uh, and do this one instead. It's going to be a short one because even though it's five minutes long, we're only really interested in the first minute. And um, I want to look at this video because for me, this is a perfect summary of how the right wing debate and how they push propaganda. So let me just play it. And I'm not even going to talk over it. I'm going to let you watch this, and then and then we'll talk about what it means. Oh, hello. What are you glued to, Cameron? Uh, just to your screen, unfortunately. Unfortunately? What do you do for a living, well, Cameron? I'm a carpenter. A carpenter, right. So how safe is that for the climate? Well, I work with timber, which is a much more sustainable material rather than concrete. I also but you work, work with fiddle. trees that have been cut down then, don't you? It's a sustainable building practice. How is it sustainable if you're killing trees? Because it's regenerative, you can grow trees. Right. Well, you can, you can grow all sorts of things, can't you? Well, you can't grow concrete. You can. See you, Cameron. Cheerio. That was Cameron. Uh, he grows trees and then cuts them down and then makes things from them. Brilliant. Marvellous. I don't think I ever want to talk to any of those people. The, the rest of the video's not important to me. I haven't watched it. Uh, what I care about with this. So, if you look at that video, what can you tell me that's wrong with it? You have an answer. Um, but I want to talk about all of it. So, like I say, this is, for me, a summary of how bad the right wing has become uh, in terms of just the debate of any kind of issue. It doesn't matter what the issue is. Uh, I've not done an Insulate Britain video um, on my YouTube channel for good reason, um, because I'm not really firm in my convictions either way on them uh, for various reasons I won't go into. But either way, I have gone into environmental issues and... It's clearly a problem. So, with that said, here's how the right wing poisons the well. This man, Mike Graham of Talk Radio, starts in very bad faith. He starts with, he asks what Cameron did for a living, and it doesn't matter what Cameron was going to say there, regardless of what he said, Mike was always going to respond in the same way. He was go always going to say, well, that's not very environmentally friendly, is it? What Mike Graham's basically doing is literally that comic. You've seen it millions of times, I imagine. And all it is, is this is their only defence against anyone who um, claims to be in favour of protecting the environment anyway. Oh, but... But you've damaged the environment in some ways in your life or through your line of work. That means you're a hypocrite and I don't have to listen to you. And for the right wing people watching, do you think people who are against pollution need to be nomads? Is that literally what you think? Because it's fucking stupid if you think that. It's literally this comic. It's literally saying... If you participate in any way, shape, or form of, of society, you cannot criticise it. And it's bollocks. It's utterly bollocks. It's one of the stupidest go-to arguments right-wing people have, especially when it comes to the fucking environment, but also when it comes to the economy as well. Um, but I won't go into that now. This is not the time. 
Um, but it's fucking stupid. And it doesn't matter what Cameron was going to say there. Whatever job he did, if he worked with computers uh, in an office, if he was a taxi driver, if he was a fucking pilot, if he fucking served fast food, the only thing he would have had a different response for would be if he said he was a student or if he said he was unemployed. In which case, he'd go, oh, 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 fucking, oh, student, unemployed, never worked in his life. Oh. You'd like the do. But once again, it doesn't matter what he said otherwise. He was always going to make the claim because he can't defend anything otherwise. He can't He can't make an argument actually against anything Insulate Britain are doing or what their message is. His only criticism is, oh, but you've damaged the environment, haven't you? Yeah, no fucking shit. We all have. We all have a carbon footprint. This has literally been the conversation for three decades now. What the fuck? But anyway, so that was literally the start. That's how he started in bad faith. And then um, Cameron says, well, I'm a carpenter. And carpenters use wood, obviously, use timber, which is sustainable. And at this point, it's not exclusive to Mike Graham here. Mike Graham's not just a fucking idiot. Um, pff, I'll come back to that. Um, but clearly loads of right-wing people are as well because they clearly don't know what the word sustainable means or they, they're they changing their definition of sustainable willingly. I've seen this on Twitter. So sustainable just means whatever fuel you use or whatever materials you use, they can be replaced. So oil and coal are not renewable because they are finite. They will eventually run out. And that you're unable to replace them with anything else. You can't remake coal. Wood is literally grown. It's sustainable. Because if you cut something down, you could in theory plant something else that will replace it. And there's loads of fucking idiots on Twitter who are saying, but it takes fucking ages to, to grow a tree. Well, no fucking shit. Oh, well, that's fucking news to me. Oh, you got me there. Fucking idiots. They, they think this is a good argument. In the Victorian times, during the Industrial Revolution, we were cutting down trees like a motherfucker. And it reduced British forest land by a clear fucking deal because we weren't replacing it. Funny enough, since then, since about the 1900s, you know, we've kind of figured out that we need to replant trees. We've kind of got it figured out that, yes, when we plant trees, they take a while to regrow. But guess what? They'll have a chance to regrow. Because trees we plant will replace trees we cut down. And as we cut down more trees, more trees are planted in their place. And then those trees we planted previously have now grown. This is literally how it fucking worked. Uh, and it's been figured out. It takes some next level bullshit to pretend trees aren't sustainable i even saw someone on on twitter saying like they're not sustainable because you know there's only finite carbon and i was going to reply but someone already beat me to it um someone from an actual verified account so i haven't blanked them out uh, literally with the key stage two carbon cycle diagram you can't fucking make this up it's like debating with children honestly but anyway after that debacle, we obviously get to what everyone else notices. But you can grow lots of things, can't you? I don't know where you're going to go with this argument. But Cameron says you can't grow concrete. And he, Mike Graham, literally says, yes, you can. This is where we're at now with the right wing. He's so obsessed with that gotcha. That's what he's doing. Mike Graham, in that instance, wants the gotcha moment. Because that's what they can put on Twitter. That's what they can put on all the social medias and on YouTube. And say like, oh, we've got him. We've made him look like an idiot. And he was so desperate for that gotcha moment. He, I think he must have lost track of what was happening or something. 
But he actually makes a claim you can fucking grow concrete. Well, fucking, I wondered actually why my back garden was all paved in stone. It used to be grass. When I first bought this house, it was grass back there. Now paving stones are there. I guess I haven't been looking after it. I haven't pulled the fucking brick weeds that I get, apparently. What the fuck, dude? You absolute pig-faced buffoon. You just did that on fucking hell. Right. But that's not even it. That's not even it. So... After this colossal embarrassment, it stands to reason that they'd be embarrassed, right? Like this was a failure. This was Mike Graham on his show on talk radio making a fucking field of himself, coming out on the bottom. So you'd think they'd be pretty embarrassed, right? Well, fucking issue with that, isn't there? They've posted it. And yeah, I'm subscribed now because I'm going to expand. Clearly there's going to be more talk radio on this channel because whatever they're smoking, I want more of it. But anyway, so they're clearly fucking posted about it. Oh, but that's, that's they just post about it, right? right? So that's as far as it goes. No, well, check this shit out. They're actually claiming victory here. What the fuck's that about? What the fuck? Like, is this a fever dream? This is, this is fucking propaganda. This is right wing propaganda in the fucking flesh. And people who like say to me, like who post on my TikTok and stuff like that, who leave comments saying, "Oh, I'm over, I'm over exaggerating how uh, how much of their fucking." Uh, Le left does this worse all this bollocks fuck off we would never do that the left would never do something like that but in the right wing claims the left likes to redefine words and they're fucking saying sustainability means something different fuck off what the fuck's this someone just justify this someone fucking justify this oh but i know what you're thinking anyway oh this is just spin they're obviously going to claim victory as soon as someone sees it uh, they'll obviously realize that the mistake um so and that they've been lied to so they're not going to like publicize the actual clip talk radio put it on twitter my Graham retweets it and fucking pins it what the fuck so not only are they claiming victory in this instant, they are so confident of this victory, so confident no one will see their mistake, they're actually publicising it and showing people that clip. What the fuck? Like, what the fuck? Who's fallen for this? Well, the, the answer is loads of people. You go over these tweets, you've got Mike's tweet, you've got a Talk Radio's tweet, and you will find a whole host of people agreeing with them fucking agreeing with them right so here's here's one so i don't know whether this person is actually bothered to watch the clip one clue might be that he's not going what the fuck you can't grow concrete mate what the fuck are you talking about one side might be because he hasn't done that which is the natural reaction but also he's accusing this insular britain uh, person of being middle class uh, because that's their go-to you see they like to say anyone they anyone who disagrees with them or anyone who like has any kind of social conscious and all that or you're just one of those uh city middle class People, you've never worked a day in your life. That's their go-to. This is a fucking carpenter, right? Fucking, he literally fucking works with his hands. He literally does manual labour. Are you fucking insane? What the fuck? This is literally a working class person. Because working class doesn't mean you can't speak well, by the way, or you're not universally educated. That, that doesn't disqualify you from being working class. Working class literally just means you work for a fucking living. And even if you want to be strict on what that counts as, 
anyone who does manual labour is very safe in the working class zone. That doesn't mean anything they're right anymore. It's just it's just a fucking buzzword. They don't know what it means anymore. It's just an attack. Oh, you disagree with me? You must be a middle class person. Well, I'm not. I'm a fucking carpenter. What the fuck? And then it gets worse because it, it's bad enough when fans make their own propaganda, like I showed you earlier. But when it gets to the point where they get sick of people pointing out, you can't grow concrete, you fucking idiot. That you delve into the internet and you find anything you can to grasp at being correct in the first place. Like Talk Radio tweeted this, and it's an article from January 2020. And first thing you'll notice is that concrete's in inverted commas. Because that's what we're fucking talking about, are we? That's what Mike's talking about. Mike clearly said, you can fuck grow fucking concrete. You can fucking grow concrete. That's what he said. He didn't say bacteria can be replicated as concrete, did he? And that's not used on a wider scale. That's clearly what he's talking about. Come on, this is basic comprehension. What the fuck? But this is just corp. That's all that is. This is literally just corp. It's so the right wing, their fans, have a little... Little thing they can point to whenever someone laughs at Mike for saying we can go concrete. Oh, actually, yes, we can. Look at this article that hasn't led to anything in fucking real life. Fuck off. And here comes to the crux of it. Why are they doing this? Why are they putting this out? Their obvious mistake where they clearly don't have any intellectual honesty at all when it came to this debate in the first place. They clearly didn't intend to meet Cameron from Insular Britain on any equal playing field. They only wanted to try and embarrass him. They only wanted the gotcha moment. And they fucking failed. But it stands to reason, if you fucking fail, why are you so fucking confident that your fans will agree with you when you put it out there? Why are you so fucking con confident? And it comes back down to, are these people fucking idiots? And the answer is no. They are not fucking idiots. They think you are a fucking idiot. This is what the right wing does. So aside from the dishonesty and the bad faith nature of how they go into a debate and their propaganda they put out afterwards, they are fully relying on the people who agree with them from not checking and not noticing that they're being lied to. That's what they are doing. If you're a fan of talk radio, if you are a fan of Mike Graham, if you are someone who saw that headline and laughed at the insolent Britain guy, you need to wake the fuck up. Sorry. This is... If I was you, and I knew this had been passed to me as an alternate truth, blatant fucking lying, just to claim victory, I'd be fucking pissed off. Just think about it. If they are lying to you about Mike Graham being fucking embarrassed on his own show, to the point where they can claim victory and actually, yeah, we can grow concrete. Then what else would the fucking lie to you about? You need to wake the fuck up, dude. So I will be watching more talk radio clips because clearly it's going to be a good source of Gavin related outrage, which I'm going to cover and I was always wanting to expand past GB News eventually anyway. So this would be a good jumping in point. And I would like to make um, one final note um, to, to Mike Graham in particular. So this is for you, Mike, if you end up watching these videos, and I don't know if you will. I just want to ask you a question. Mike, as a human being, I understand that the modern world is scary, especially if you're a dinosaur who is struggling with irrelevance. I know that's a scary position to be in. And I know you keep grabbing at relevancy by saying any old shit and making stupid claims and going after woke people. But is it really working? I understand that you probably saw Rush Limbaugh in America 
and you went, well, that's my personality now. I'll do that. Um, stinks of originality, of course. But once again, is that good enough? Are you happy doing that? Do you have children to impress? Because I imagine they're really fucking disappointed in you right now doing this shit. And if you idolise Rush Limbaugh, I mean, that's fine. I just want you to remember when Rush Limbaugh died, his grave became a toilet. So, yeah, you think about that. You think about your contributions to the world and whether you're happy with those contributions. And from the bottom of my heart, I just want to say, Mike, go fuck yourself. <laughs>